Hey, hey guys, welcome back. I'm Hypnotic and this is Vintage Story and it's a beautiful, beautiful day in Acantha. Snowy and cold, but at least it's not snowing. <laughs> Thank you for being back with me. We today are going to go back to our south base. I have B, a bee skep in my inventory and we're going to go plant berry bushes and get out of the snow for a bit. Now that we have the pulverizer, we do need to go get more olivine, quartz, but, um, bauxite and all those things and bring them back for the pulverizer so we can be doing some steel bricks. I know there's a lot of fire clay over at the south too. So we're going to head that way after I grab up my box and some food. Okay, I just said goodbye to Onyx. This is what we're taking. I grabbed all the berry bushes or not all the berry bushes, about half of the berry bushes. Um, that's my travel bed, the extra arrows, the half of the pet biscuits I made and some salt. Um, and some some shelves. My pro pick is in here. Um, and then these vessels are from this little room back here and the shelves. I might open this back up or use this for something else. I'm not sure yet, but we don't really need it here. So I'm going to grab everything. We're going to put it on our back and we're going to go. Um, I'm going to get bauxite on my way back, but I do know that I have several... Um, stacks of fences there so i did do a road i did make a road um from this from the forge over to the tl and i moved this road a little bit over one just so it would be a little smoother but here's the road to the tl we have baddies so i'll get there and i will see you there wow i had forgotten that i have fat flax and some stuff in here that box i guess i never opened that one we are at the um southern base I do have a couple of names in mind, but I have not quite decided. Oh, you guys, look at how gorgeous this place is. Honestly, I think I made just the right choice. This is gorgeous. Um, let's, uh, first thing I wanna do is set down the bees. Um, so I'm gonna, oh, you guys, this makes me really happy. I, I mean it, this makes me so happy. I think I wanna put a wall around this little area maybe maybe just a short little wall i don't know this is so, oh this is so pretty did i plant this tree inside no no i don't know whether i want to do a wall look at the garden it's growing the rice is cold um but that's okay everything else seems to be doing okay yeah, I am really looking forward to prettifying this a lot. Oh, Ev, look at all this food. It's doing really, really well. It's still really slow. I did try to change the growth speed and nothing seems to be happening. Nothing seems to be working. Oh, peanuts. Oh no, the peanuts are dead. Okay, well, maybe we maybe we set up a greenhouse down here for these for these other crops. Um, I do have some room there. Okay, let's um let's see if we can find some fencing. I think I probably have I probably have oak fencing down here in storage. Let's put this beehive right here. And then we'll go get um more stuff to make more. I just wanted to bring an active beehive here. So uh yeah, that that'll work. Know where I'm gonna put this, you guys. I really want to clean out all the grass around here and make this really a lovely little pond. And I was thinking about making a little wall around it just so we don't have like bears come in here or whatever. I'm not really sure how I want to do this yet, but I do know that I want to plant the berries out in just kind of like a little, um, just a little field for now. Um, let's just plant them right here for now and hope we don't get any raccoons. There's the currants. And then uh, we have we have four white currants. These are pretty special because they are a little more rare. So let's put them front and center. And then I do have 20 cranberry bushes and nine blueberry bushes. I might need to put a little fence around this. Okay, cranberries and blueberries planted. I will be doing a lot of scything around here to get rid of a lot of this grass. And we will do that around the pond as well. Let's go put this in the cellar. 
and this in the cellar and let's go feed the kitty and put this in the kitchen there's the kitty the kitty needs a pet bed the pet beds will be a priority after i have enough flax we're going to go check on the flax here soon but there is the kitty fed we'll put um these kitty things in there and we'll take this rice down to the or this amaranth grain down to the cellar let's go to the cellar next oh this feels like home the vacation home okay we have one barrel or one vessel down here already let's put these four right here and then let's use i'm not going to be using these really yet um because uh the because of that um bug it's really really bad so we'll just put um the the food that we're going to eat in these vessels so that's doing 9.4 days ouch ouch how are these vessels doing 0.26 okay well we're gonna have to eat these pronto let's go down and check on the flax this is what we're waiting for for to be able to make our nice gambeson and to be able to make more windmills and things like that and it is very very slow we're at five of nine on the first stuff I planted and on the second stuff I planted we're of three of nine so we're doing okay but we do have to be patient I'm going to do the spend the rest of this day moving a little bit of things around and um, getting kind of an area set up for the bees. And I will, sh what I'm going to do is I'm going to go see if we have any more chalk bricks. Um, we have a few. We will take advantage of these. Um, cause I do want to fence the bees in just to have like a little official bee area. So we're going to take this and we're going to fence this in and yet we're going to put a gate right here for these trees. Let's just do that. And then we can use that for the bees and then we can clean this up and make this a pretty area around the pond. So now I do need, um, two gates, a gate there and a gate there and then we have a little bee area now i don't know how many flowers we have but i would like to set uh we have a few more there's white currant bushes we can leave those in here so let's think about the bees we're gonna have just it's not gonna be huge we're just gonna do like three there and then we'll just do a couple around in here yeah that makes me happy And then we'll just uh, spread some flowers around. Okay, it's time to gather some cattails. I'm also going to gather the roots um, just for a cattail farm here too. So I'm going to take the rest of the evening as the sun sets and gather up all these cattails and see if we can decide where to put a cattail farm and see how many skeps we can make. I don't know if I have any clay or not, but I'm so I may have to run and get some. It's medium rift activity, so I am feeling like maybe I, I won't want to stay out all night. Medium rift activity seems to be the worst one. I, I'm not sure why. Um, uh, the Bohemians and I have talked about this a lot. I feel like the rift activity is kind of broken. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but rift activity seems to be worst at medium. But um, we joke about it all the time. So far, it's not bad out here. It may bring us in, though. Okay, there's my first drifter. Oh, looks like we've got a bunch of them. Look at our pretty little house. Yep, I'm running. I'm just gonna get out because I don't want to deal with these monsters. Um, and we're gonna probably... Unless I can plant these. This looks like a really good place to plant a little cattail farm right here. Let's see if I can get away with planting for a little bit. I've never made myself an iron falks. Um, I'm not that great with uh, 
because I'm a hunter, I'm not that great with melee weapons, but melee is obviously needed at times. Um, but I haven't made myself... This is still the one I acquired somewhere. I don't remember where I got it. I have 46 cattails, so we're going to just do it one, one, two, three, down the row like this. Okay, well, there's some. Oh, boy. Let's just go in. Let's sleep through the night. Let's eat something first. Okay, good morning. Nice! It's beautiful out. Of course it is. Look at this lovely place we're living in. Okay, I hear some monsters out there, and I want to do... Oh, man. That food is really not good. Um... I have food in my inventory. Here we go. The food does not last very long here. It's going to be a real benefit to um, having both places where we can go up north and store our food um, because food does not last long in this warm climate. Let's go see if we have some clay. Yes, there's monsters. I need to go kill them. I think we have clay. Yeah, we do. Excellent. Let's make what cattails I have um, into skets after we kill these dudes. There's one in the beehive, in the apiary. Kill him. Kill you. Nice. Another temporal gear would be awesome. We do have enough to make um, and to repair another TL, so I am am keeping that in mind. Man, that was not very many, but we're at least going to get the bees started. Um, yeah, I need to go collect more. You guys, let's take today and go look a little bit under in the cave underneath our base. There is a cave over here, and I want to go look at it. Um, I probably I have forty three ladders. Let's get rid of a couple of things in my inventory and then let's go down right through here because I want to see if there's anything else. Obviously, before we decide to fix another TL, I want to make sure there's nothing like right here that would be perfect to fix. Uh, let's put the fencing away and I think we're good to go. We have an extra pickaxe. My knife is okay. We have our pro pick. We have bandages and a box. So let's put, we have two boxes. So let's do that. And let's go down here. Let's do it. Let's just go look around. There's monsters right there already. Yeah, you just fight amongst yourselves. Okay, let's put this on our bar and this on our bar. And then we should be ready to go. Now, I did hear a bell over in the teal um, shaft the other day, and I'm this is going that way, so I'm wondering if these are connected. There's quartz down here, which is really nice because I need to take quartz back. Lots of quartz. This could be a very good quartz mine. Okay. There is down there. And let's go around that for now. And down there. Okay, let's go down here first. I'm actually going to go down from over here. And I'm not going to use ladders. Uh, I'm going to just dig my way down. It's still medium rift activity, which is kind of a stupid thing to be doing this during medium rift activity, but whatever. We're brave now, right? Okay, we're into the limestone. Now we've got this rim right here. Let's, uh, let's do this. Make sure we don't throw them all down, but let's throw this one down. I don't see anything, but we're going to keep going. Should have got more dirt. Um, but that's okay. I'm 
Maybe we could find some olivine right here too. Let's do a quick pro pick. Let's first do this. I think it's on the bismuth, small mounts. Okay, well, let's do this one. Um, high bismuth, poor magnetite. Oh, it would be awesome to find more um, iron over here. I'm telling you guys, turning off the temporal stability was the most amazing idea ever. Okay, so there's our bismuth. Okay, well, there's lots of saltpeter, which we could definitely use. As soon as we have flax, we're going to be making bombs. There's more bismuth. Cool. We'll pick up more of that on our way up. Okay, let's, um... Get our torches out. Um... There's lots of dead drifters down here. And lava. Did the drifters get killed by the lava? Oh shit! That's a bad drifter. Um, yeah, that's a really bad drifter. Yeah, they got killed by the lava. I don't want to get killed by the lava. Ooh, what's this? A little dungeon. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take this wood because this would be perfect to make our paths in our bees. Okay, nothing. There's more bismuth. What can you do with lava these days, guys? I don't think you can do anything with lava these days. I don't think you can put anything in the in it or at all. I think it's just there to kill you now. Go this way and see. Okay, let's what where are you? Where are you? What? What is it that's hitting me? Down there. Hey, nothing. Nothing down here. Dead end. Okay. Well, that makes me at least happy that we know that it's a dead end. Let's pro pick here again. Don't know if we're in a different chunk. Oh, it didn't go far enough away. Bismuth. Okay. Uh, let's be very careful going back down this way and let's see if we can... Um... Oh, there's another block. Let's get that. And let's go the other way. I'm going to gather up some of the saltpeter really quick too. We'll try not to come back this way. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, there's drifters dying in the lava. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Lava is my friend if I stay plenty away from it. Okay, there's another bad guy right there. Um, let's see if we can skin these dudes. I do not want to catch on fire. That would be horrible because I have no way to get myself off out of I don't have any water okay can I not do that okay there's that one well I'll take the flax that's for sure okay let's go the other way now never seen so much lava in my life 
Okay, dude. Dude. Don't back up into the lava. Shit. Don't hit me, mister. Oof. Okay, dead end. If this is it down here, I'm just going to seal it off from my basement, and then I'll make my basement a little bit bigger. Um, I hear something out there. I want that bismuth. Yep, I hear a drifter. I think the next cave to investigate would be the cave um, that's right outside the TL room. Oh, there's a bad guy. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Thought you were tricky. Let's, um, let's just do this. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. Um, and then I don't remember. Let's get some more, um, salt, Peter. While we're here, maybe we can just close this off and say we don't ever have to come down here again. There's some more bismuth in the wall right here. I'm gonna... I remember where the bigger hole was. There was another big hole up above. I'm gonna grab this really quick so we can say that we did it. And we got it. And then we'll go check out that other one. I do want to heal and get my box out, though. So I think what we're gonna do is... I'm gonna... Because I'm so close... Um, I'm going to run and get some more dirt, because we need more packed dirt to be safe down here. Because we look, we're right here. Okay, I dumped off my inventory and got more dirt, so now we're ready to go down into that other hole. Um, let's get... Okay, we have it. Let's put... we got to change out this. There we are. And we're going to light this up, because we don't want them spawning in here. There is one guy. We'll get the quartz out of here, which is going to be completely nice and convenient. Um, we're going to block this off. So nobody can get up from down there. And we know we've taken care of it. There is some bismuth down there, though. Um, hopefully we'll remember that. But there, we won't fall in that hole. <laughs> now we're going this way. We're going down this way now. Mm-mm-mm. Sounds like a terrifying plan, hippie, but whatever. How many of you guys do your caving like this, or do you just use ladders? I know it's slower, but it feels safer to me. Uh, I don't know why. I, I really don't. How many of you guys do your, uh, get into your caves like that, just by spiraling down? Um... I know a lot of people do, but I know people. some people feel like it takes a lot longer. And yeah, it does than a ladder, but I'm... And I know I could use rope ladders. I really should make some rope ladders. Um, let's light that up. And we're going to be able to go back down that way, but let's give this area a look. I should really make rope ladders and get used to using them. Oh boy. Okay, this is very convoluted. So let's... Okay, this is this is toward home. I'm just going to put two right there because that's toward home. And then let's just work our way through these upper caves first. What is that? Lead. Um, let's go this way first. Okay, dead end. Nice. I'm happy with that because I don't want to... Oh, so there's a monster. Let's go this way. <gasps> Jesus. Ah! Don't run right into the monster, hippie. Okay, um, let's go this way. This is toward home. 
And that is a dirt wall. Have I been here before? Oh, this is the cave I broke into through my... No, what? That's packed dirt. I've been here. This is probably the wall I broke into when I was doing my, uh... Ah, when I was doing my quarrying, I broke into a cave. Okay. Well, that's one question solved then. We don't have to break into it, and I can show you that from the other side eventually. Okay, so let's just grab this. Go backward. Let's grab this. And then we can, um... Probably block, just block this off. Yeah, I know, mister, you're here and I don't want you to be here. Okay, let's just block this off again. More packed dirt. I mean, I think it's better to block it off. I gotta keep my wits about me, guys. I don't, I get lost. Very easy. Okay, so we know that that's, there's no way, there's no past here. Okay, that's home. Okay, so we've, we've looked at, oh, we haven't gone this way. Okay, lead, quartz. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait a minute. That goes that way, too. Okay, this is where it starts to get scary for me because it gets really convoluted and I don't, I'm going to get lost. <gasps> Ooh, there's a dungeon. There's something down here. Oh, nice. Look at this little tiny bedroom. Vintage beef. Oh, my gosh. Cool. And a scroll. Very nice. Let's get the bed. In case I ever have visitors, I can have a I can have a spare bed. You guys want to come stay the night? Have a sleepover? Okay, we're gonna grab this and we're gonna grab this because we need this for our build. We're gonna use paths and stuff to make everything pretty. You know what you can always do is you can always just just if you have enough ladders, you can always just burrow, go up, dig up. Let's keep going. This There's a bed there for a reason, right? Somebody was sleeping here because they, they came through from a translocator. What the heck? Oh my god, you guys, I'm getting scared. Okay, this is the... Let's just light it behind us. I'm running out of torches. Okay, dead end. More quartz. And a dungeon. Hello, buddy. Something is back here. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, you guys. This is a great big, one of those great big dungeons. <gasps> yes. Look at the beauty. Okay. Oh, nice. Where are you, buddy? Oh, the cave goes more that way. Um, we have to kill this dude. Or we just kind of block him off for now. And we'll, 
remember that it goes that way? Will we remember? Maybe if I leave a little hole? Oh, look at this cool dungeon! Let's see what we got. There's another scroll. A pair of snow goggles. Hey, we could use that. More tin bronze, tin bronze arrows, leather bracers. Okay, let's set our box down and get busy. Let's look to see what everything else is in here. We've got lots of vessels. Look at all those vessels. We've got lots of wood and... Wow, this is cool. Um, lots of wood and these um, aged logs. What's in here? Great step boots. Awesome. And a shovel. Okay, I guess we just are going to need to take some time and get all this out of here. We want the bricks too. So I'm going to take a few minutes, do this, and then it looks like, look at that. It kind of looks like it goes down right here. Oh, it's just, okay. Well, I'm going to take a few minutes and clean this out, and then we'll continue with the caving, and I'll show you everything I found at the end. Well, guys, I've gathered up everything I can. This is my loot. There's a lot more in, there's not a lot more in here other than really the um, stones. And I'm thinking about just digging up to go, um, because we're only at 89, and then marking this so I can come back and get the bricks. I think that that would probably be a good idea, because I would like to have these bricks. Um, it's such a nice, easy way. And I am out of inventory space. I'm going to have to pick up my bowl still. So let's do this, and then pick up my bowl. And let's go straight up, and then we'll come back for this. I have to go clear out my inventory. Hey, you guys, I cleaned out my inventory, and I'm just putting some stuff away uh, still. We have two scrolls, and I'm going to put this bed upstairs. Make it a little double bed. I've got lots of really nice um, wooden beds here. Let's put that right there, and then we have a double bed. Then, um, let's read these scrolls. Um, I, I want, I'd love to hear if you guys don't mind me reading the scrolls out loud. Um, I really do enjoy the lore, so, um, let me know. Letters, part two of eight. Quartermaster's ledger, date unknown. I had to tell Jaren's wife today I had been gone from the shelters too long. We're losing them as quickly as we lose everything else. The poor woman was half dead when I arrived. She will not last much longer. I stayed only long enough to convey my respect. He was a good man. I would not be here this day without his aid. Nevertheless, I can do nothing for him or his kin. They are like so many of the others here. Rest, rest well, friend. I am sorry. And then this one is letters part three of eight. Oh, well, that's nice. Okay, um, maybe. J. Three of eight. I've stopped counting days, stopped counting time. All I know is every moment is the same. Dark, cold, filled with fear and uncertainty. The work is heavy. My whole body aches. Maybe it will give up first. Oh. Damn, it's terrifying. I don't have many torches left. But I do think we should go back down there. I could gather up the rocks. That gather up the bricks. And then um, we could take a look past that uh, dungeon. Okay, that's empty, so I might as well leave it. Okay, we don't have any more food on us, but we're just going to finish this episode off by going back down in there and looking past that ruin. We have so much to explore. Uh, I'm going to pick up all kinds of junk. Okay, let's go down this way and just see. Let's uh, put... Where's my lantern? Shit. I put my lantern down somewhere. Okay, well, we'll just use these for now. Sorry, guys. My lantern is at the base. Oh, boy. There looks like there's all kinds more to explore this way. And I only have 17 more. Um... Yeah. 
Wow. Okay. Um, how was I here before? What? I am totally confused now. Oh, that was the way I was going to turn around. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so convoluted. Okay, so we don't have to go back that way because we came... Where is that? That was j I've just here because that's two ta that's Wow. Okay. So confused. Oh, I know where we are now. I do. I know where we are now. Wow, we did a whole turnaround on ourselves. Okay. Oh, damn it. Where are you? Yeah, we did a whole... a whole flip on ourselves here. Okay, so it's back this way, right? Yeah. This is the dungeon. Cool, we would have found it anyway. We would have found it coming from a different direction. Okay, well, let's go... let's go down this way then, really quick. Let's just put that dirt in there. And see, uh, I don't don't want to get wet because I don't want to mess up my wait for the water. I don't have my lantern. I put my lantern down when I was doing my inventory. Oh, so. and this looks like a dead end, except for some bismuth. Okay, guys, I'm gonna gather up the bismuth and then gather up those bricks. This has been really fun. Um, there's still more to explore from this cave, but I think that's pretty much what we're going to do this episode, guys. That was fun. We have more to explore for here, but I am going to call this episode here. I'm going to get this bismuth and the bricks. I'll keep recording in case something exciting happens, but I do know that I've been recording for an hour and a half. So this will make a good episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We will do more cave exploring because we have to explore the rest of this cave and the one by the TL with the bell in it. Guys, stay safe out there and thank you so much for being here. Bye.